What does the wisdom of Kabbalah say actually about this force of gratitude, this seemingly simple thing that a person does where he's grateful for what he has? The wisdom of Kabbalah is a serious wisdom. And therefore, when it talks about gratitude, it speaks of spiritual gratitude. That, first of all, a person who's trying to reach spirituality, he doesn't exactly know what that is, but he feels this inner need. And then he comes to our education center and starts studying. And he's explained to that the purpose of creation is for all people to reveal that they're controlled by the force of their ego and that it's an evil and destructive force that turns people against each other that a person destroys all of nature, his entire environment, by his ego, and eventually destroys himself too, because he wants to enjoy things that aren't really good for him, but they only give him some kind of a momentary satisfaction, but that's it. And this entire period that he goes through is called the recognition of evil. So the wisdom of Kabbalah, in Hebrew literally meaning the wisdom of reception, it reveals to a person that he's in a negative kind of reception, that he all the time wants to receive and pull to himself, and that it's not exactly to his benefit to act this way. But that there is also the force of good, which is the force of bestowal, that can balance the force of reception, and then between these two forces he'll be in harmony, like between plus and minus. That whatever we create, we create by by the combination of two forces, because specifically by the correct combination between them, we can succeed, we can benefit, we can get something useful out of it. And the very same way, if we'll connect between us, both by the separating negative force that separates us and creates all of our problems in our families and in the nation and between nations and with nature and with everything, if we'll acquire against this, the positive force, and this is a force that exists in nature, only we have to derive it, to pull it, to know how to work with it, to know how to balance these two forces. And then, in between these two forces, we'll start existing in a good and nice way. And then a person, when he starts understanding the ability to come closer to the positive force against the negative force that he has from birth, then he becomes grateful for the negative force that he has where the negative force is also good, only I also need the positive force. And then I'll be able to work with both forces. And this is what King David wrote about, that you have saved my soul. That before a person receives this positive force, he's only in the negative force, and he really feels bad. And after a pretty extended period of time, he reaches a state where he also receives the force of good, and then he reaches gratitude. <laughs>